SharePoint 2013 How to Create a Site Column What is the difference between a site column and a list or library column? Well, to put it simply, a site column can be used for maintaining structure throughout your list and libraries, whereas if you were to create a list or library column, this is only available in the particular list or library it was created. For example, if you have a choice site column at your top level site and want to apply this column to all of your subsites to keep consistency throughout, this is possible. And I will show you how now. From your SharePoint site, in the upper right hand corner, click the Site Settings gear. On the drop down, click Site Settings. On the Site Settings page, under Web Designer Galleries, click Site Columns. On the Site Columns page, click Create. For the most part, this will look similar to creating a normal list or library column. You will notice a few additional columns available though. Uh, so you'll see full HTML content with formatting and constraints for publishing, and image with formatting and constraints for publishing, hyperlink with formatting and constraints for publishing, summary links data, and rich media data for publishing. Enter the following information. So in the column name, I will enter product offering scroll down the type of information in this column I will make it a choice put this site column into I will leave it in the existing group custom columns description whoops these are choices of our current SharePoint and let's go with product offering. There we go. These are choices for our current product offerings. Require that this column contains information, leave that checked no. Enforce unique values, leave that checked no. Um, I will now enter my choices. My choices, we have beginner, SharePoint 2010, training to save time. I'm just going to copy these. And this one is going to be Whoa, this one's going to be advanced, whoops, SharePoint 2010, beginner SharePoint 2013 training, and this one will be advanced SharePoint 2013 training. And one more, share point workflow training. There we go. Now that I have my choices entered, I will scroll down here. Display choices using drop down menu. Allow fill in choices no. And for the default value, I will make, I will clear this. Uh, if you have a choice that you use often, you would enter it there. I'm going to review my settings, column name, product offering, choice, custom columns. These are choices for our current product offerings. Beginner SharePoint 2010, Advanced SharePoint 2010, Beginner SharePoint 2013, Advanced SharePoint 2013, and SharePoint Workflow Training. Looks good. Click OK. Now back on our site columns page, if I scroll down and find the custom columns group, which is right here, I will now see my new product offering site column. And that's it. This has been a presentation by Jeff Taylor with the SharePoint at Rackspace team, and thank you for watching.